Republican conservative Congressman Joe Scarborough of Pensacola said back in the 90s that Bill Clinton defeated the Republican Revolution by joining it, which is why Bill Clinton is held in low esteem by the likes of Matt Rothschild and Ed Garvey and John Nichols. He uh, triangulated, he came to the middle and actually adopted some Republican ideas, signed a huge capital gains tax cut from 28 to 20 percent, which led to the dot-com boom, which led to the bubble. But still, he uh, played both sides of the fence against the middle and, and made it work. Obama didn't do that. But Donald Trump, what is he ideologically? He's Republican on taxes and regulations, doesn't like the EPA denying permits, so he's definitely a Republican on those things. But on health care? I don't think so. He said he wants everybody to have insurance. His conservative Republican counterparts in the Heritage Foundation think tank and other think tanks will talk about having access to health care, tax credits, vouchers, uh, health savings accounts. No, Trump says no. He wants everybody to be insured, which sounds like he's joining Paul Ryan in the sense that he wants to subsidize with taxes, with the budget, high-risk pools in states so that the member in that pool with prostate cancer or breast cancer can then pay rates for premiums commensurate with market rates. And the, the difference is paid for by the budget instead of other people's premiums. There's a big difference there. You're talking about subsidizing 8% of the population with high-risk pre-existing conditions, but if you pay for it with healthy people's premiums, then young, healthy people won't get premiums. You won't have enough money. They're going to have to separate that into a subsidized, yes, socialized, high-risk pool, and then bring in market forces for everybody else. That can be done. You shop across state lines for auto insurance, you can do it for health insurance, but you must take care, as Trump says, of everybody else. You can't just let people die in the street. Trump, the populist, could trump the Republicans and the conservatives, and if he does that, he could silence a lot of his critics. My two cents, my two minutes, are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can redo your kitchen, your basement, your bathroom even your staircase and make your home look just like home. We'll talk about this and more tomorrow at 8 on The Mitch Hank Show on madisontalkers.com. See you there.